What's up boys, so being said, bless day so far, in today's video we're over 11 tricks on Clubhouse. These tricks vary anywhere from spawn peaks, nitro cells, vault cams, drone cams, hiding spots, angles, all the things we gotta have for ranked. And I'm not gonna waste any of y'all's time, let's get right into it. Starting off with the first trick, we have a nitro cell throw onto freezer. So freezer is a pretty popular spot to push, and there's a lot of assholes who push it. So, starting off the first thing, we gotta come in between here, see this little like server and this little coat rack thing, walk back a bit until you're like, kind of about there and you're going to shoot with your shotgun on the floor so you want to open like this little panel up right here all right so then you see down there you got the freezer you want to back up to about here uh, you, you want to be like kind of on just in front of the edge of the rug here have your thing down and throw that will end up getting your nitro cell all the way through the floor and into the freezer we check our valve cam Actually, it might be on top of the door. Yeah, it's just on top of the door. That works as well, though, if they do rush through. Your nitro will either land right on top of the door or just inside of the freezer. So anyone basically right at the door is going to end up dying or running past the door will die as well. This is good for a lot of people who rush because a lot of times people like to come through here and you can get an easy nitro cell on those guys. Moving on to the second tip, we have a garage vault cam. This valve cam hides behind these tires right here and basically you can see the entirety of the garage and it's a lot of times it's really hard for attackers to find it. You're gonna line up here and you just wanna chuck it just above that first tire to where it lands kind of back there. And then from here, you can see pretty much anybody who walks in. They're never gonna look here. You may not directly be able to see the rafters but you will hear anyone who decides to walk up them. The main usage of this camera is that I'm gonna show you later in the video, but Right here, they can walk in. You can actually nitro sell them from a spot I will end up showing you guys. Moving on to our next trick, we have a runout size spawn peak on the construction wall right here. So what you're gonna do is crouch and throw a nade directly at crouch level. This is gonna make it to where you can't really like, like run out. That way, if an attacker does climb up this ladder, they have to crouch in to fight you. But when you open this up, you're gonna wanna sit right here, have your reticle just inside of that red building over there. And basically from here, wherever the attacker climbs up the ladder, it'll be like right in your line of sights. And then when they do, you can shoot them in the face. And if nobody does climb up the ladder after a few seconds, you can come out here and peek, see if anybody is there, maybe get a few shots on, or even get a kill. And basically that's, that's the gist of it. Or you can back all the way up into here. I wouldn't recommend that. I'd rather you guys just sit here and crouch because from here, all they can see is your head mainly. So if they climb up this ladder, it's a free shot. You can just laser their body. And then you can also come out here and get the run out on anybody who has spawned in that location. For our next tip, I have a pre-placed drone. And this is one of my favorite drones in the game. It's pretty hard to get, I'm not gonna lie, especially if they're up in CCTV. But if you can manage to get your drone all the way on this balcony, it'll be a lot easier if they're on a different site. You can get a pretty nasty pre-placed. So you're gonna jump on top of this red thing right here. Then you're gonna jump on top of this pipe. You're gonna climb the pipe. And then you're gonna jump up here on the tires. Now, the reason I don't say on the pipe is because they can see you. But if you can manage to get up here, especially if they're on CCTV, it is a disgusting drone spot because no one's ever gonna look up here. You can also try and maybe get inside the tire like this. And then in here, it's pretty much invisible. And then you can just move the, t move the drone around, see anybody who's in the rafters. You can also use this as a flank drone if, you're, if they're on a different site and you can watch flanks. Overall, a very good drone. For the next trick, I'm going to show you guys a disgusting hiding spot. This works best with Caviera since her uh, uniform is very dark. Same with Vigil and Castle. So this is the spot. Most of you probably know this already. So if some of you may not, but you're going to break all of these computers here. I'm just going to show you guys just how retardedly invisible this is. And set up a, I'm going to set up a cam like right there just to mimic an attacker. You're going to crawl in these computers. To hide the best, you want to lean all the way to the right. And then, like, here you can see your feet, right? So you're going to want to move just enough to where your feet go backwards. And from there, it's very difficult to see you. Now, on the cam, it may be easier to see my shoulder because of, like, I'm not leaning. But that's still ridiculously hard to see. And if you're leaning like this, they're not going to see you. I've had rounds where I've played Cav or Vigil and I've just sat in this. And I, we've been on this site and I've won it easily because I just pop out here and just light up anyone who's in front of me. Moving on to the next tip, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of angles. So this is like five, four or five tips in one. First angle we have, this is an angle I've never seen anyone use, which shocks me. But we have an angle from CCTV onto the garage. So we're going to sit here and open up the entirety of this floor with a shotgun. 
This can be best used with Rook with an impact grenade because it has high magnification optic. But you can back up all the way here and you can get bullets on people who are walking in here. And just to show you where these bullets are going, these bullets are literally landing right at the feet of the attackers who are walking in here. So any attacker, a Montang, or anyone who decides to walk in here, or anyone who unfortunately walks this way at all, you're going to have that angle from all the way up here onto here. Moving on to our next angle, this is an angle from the soft wall all the way down to the or kitchen area. So you're going to want to sit here and break just above like the bottom, just barely, right here. And then you're going to break this floor right here. Now what this allows you to see is anyone who decides to walk close or a Hibana that jumps into this window, you can shoot anyone who's here. You also can open up even more to right here. Just this, even if someone puts like Hibana charges or an ace or thermite, you can get that off the breach and you can sit here, hold tight angles. You can basically open up this entire floor. And the thing is about this floor is that it's pretty difficult to see. Let me show you guys the view. Is that when you're when you're there as an attacker, most of the time you're not really looking for those angles and those breaches in the in the ceiling. And that's basically like when you walk in here, this little beam is covering a lot of it. Now, to have it mostly hidden, you want to break like the closest part here. But to have most of the view, you want to open up that. I typically just break the bottom part of this. That way it's most hidden and hardest to see when you first walk in. Because most attackers are not going to be concerned about the ceiling. They're going to be watching for anyone who's up here, about cams. And then they're not going to be expecting that. And then boom, you shoot them up from up there. Moving on to an angle that's very close by. This is a disgusting bar angle onto anyone who is in armor or a kitchen. So I'm going to come up here, break this right here. And actually, you can break more of the wall like that much. And now from there, you're going to break just middle of this little corner here. So it goes straight, straight and meets this corner. Break that. And from here, you can see anybody who decides to peek you and walk in. And now if they're peeking from over here, the last thing they're going to be expecting is some clown sitting in between the bar. So what they're going to see is all of this. They're not going to be seeing you first. They're going to be looking up here. They're not going to see this first because especially when your head's there, it's going to plug up that hole. It's going to make it harder to see and you can shoot them directly in the face. Moving on to an angle that is also very nearby. This is one of the most gross angles I've ever found in this game. You're going to open up the main staircase, pretty much like the entirety of the floor. And now most of the time when defenders do this, they're going to be playing in bar, right? And they're going to be able to peek down and anyone who decides to rush. And they're not going to be generally that far off. They're going to be pretty close, right? Well, we're going to mix that up. You're going to be basically in between these pipes and this vent. You're going to break up all of this floor here. Every single piece of it that's in between this. And from up here, you're going to get one of the most disgusting angles on anyone who decides to come down the main stairs. And you're going to absolutely ruin their day. You come right here. And you can see anybody who walks down the stairs and semi into the hallway. And you can basically light them up or even kill them. And it's going to ruin their day and they're going to wonder why they even play this game. I have one more angle. This is a bit of a bonus angle. Wasn't expecting to put it in the video. But let me show you. You're going to break this hatch and break the entire top side of this wall. And from here, you can see anybody who decides to walk in a stock. Now, you're going to see their feet first before they see your head. So even if they know you're here and they try and peek you, you're going to get the shots on first. And you can get the kill, or maybe you can just hit a few shots and then fall off of it. But it's a pretty disgusting angle. I never expected it. When I was, when I was playing ranked, I saw the top of this open on a drone. And if I had a drone, that I would have died because I definitely would not have expected someone to be up here. Now, if you want to make this strat even more annoying, you can open up like the entire... like. So this part of a bar wall and they won't really know that you're up here and they'll expect you to be like in the bar right and that way when they walk up you can get some shots on and just kill them. moving on to our next trick this is one of the most disgusting valkyrie knots you can ever do but basically you're going to run into this room put a nitro cell on the barricade doesn't really matter where on the barricade and then you're going to come over back into stock open up this barricade here and I know the Valcam change is in effect or will be uh, in the next season with the eight second bullcrap, whatever. But that's enough time for this Valcam to be able to be out here. So when you rip this down at the start of the round, just chuck that thing, sit on this Valcam, wait a few seconds. When they start to run and you can hear them below the nitro and then run out, they're going to be looking at this window for the nitro that got blown up. And they're not going to be looking at you who's running out. You can even start your run out and blow the nitro and then come out here and they're not going to expect you. But you typically want to 
you want to be standing just on the edge here blow it and then sprint out and then you'll get detected right when you turn the corner and their attention will be on this barricade that just got nitro celled and they won't be looking here they'll have to flick completely over to you and by the time they recognize they have to do that your reticle is most likely going to be on them or at least right next to them and you're going to have the advantage in this gunfight and that's it next tip we have a pre-placed drone this one's pretty good too it's also a valcam spot if you're playing on defense so you're going to jump up here onto this little uh cart i guess and then jump up onto the screwdriver holder thing and then you're going to have to try and calculate this just get it just to where you can kind of jump in between this railing and then come up here and boom you're in the railing now from up here in this railing it can be kind of disgusting the spots you can get because no one's really going to be looking up in the railing you can even hide like right on this tile thing so if they do see you can kind of like come back a little bit so they can't shoot you but you can see anyone, anyone who uh, rotates through here you can hear people in construction hear people in cctv you can even if you uh maneuver yourself enough you can actually see possibly someone on red stairs here but this is just another good pre-placed drone cam moving on to our next trick we have a val cam now that the val cams are being nerfed and you can't put them outside we're gonna have to get pretty creative with our inside val cam so you know lay down right here throw the val cam in between these two barrels right there now from here you're gonna be able to see anyone who walks in here and you're also gonna be able to blow anyone up so the only counter is if they see it perfectly somehow, which is like they'd have to be uh, like it's 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 one of the hardest to see. They're not going to find it. Don't worry. And you can also nitro cell anyone who comes up here. Boom. They die. Blow up. Moving on to our next trick. I have a hiding spot for you guys. Now, before I show you guys hiding spot, first you're going to want to pop this hatch. I'll explain in a second as to why. May not make no sense right now, but you'll see. So it's in the bathroom. It's right here. You're going to want to lay down in this. Basically, you want to lay down like I showed you guys earlier. You want to come as far as you can to the left to where your feet are coming out like that. And then slowly lean in. And the second your feet come back, what they're going to see is nothing. And you're basically completely invisible in the spot. Now, I will say this is a very risky um, hiding spot. So if someone does drone you out, you're screwed unless you're Cav. So the reason I opened up the hatch is that, let's say a drone comes, oh shit, I gotta go. Blow open this, rotate through here, boom, through here. And you've completely escaped anyone who is hunting you unless they were in that hallway. Now it's important you guys are able to rotate out of there because if if they don't see you, it's a perfect hiding spot, especially with Cav, you can get an interrogation. But if they do end up droning you out, you have got to rotate out of there. All right, so moving on to our next trick. This is a spawn peak and let me explain what I'm gonna do. So. A common old spawn peak that people used to do and still do is they open up this top half and basically lean right while standing on the bed, right? And even open up higher to make it even more noticeable. Now let me show you guys what they see. So a lot of attackers when they see this are gonna like completely track it. They're gonna like they're gonna swing all the way out here and they're gonna keep their reticle close to this, expecting someone to be there, right? So what we're gonna do is piss these guys off a lot. So we're going to come through and we're going to be sitting on the other window. You're going to take your revolver. You mainly want to be playing Rook. Break like this right here. Just one revolver shot. And what you're going to see is anybody who spawns, right? You're going to want to break this about mm, at the beginning of the round. And you're going to want to lean very tightly here. So anyone who comes outside of this truck, you're going to see first. And if they saw the spawn peak or didn't, you're going to get the shots on them. And then you can just mow them down when they decide to walk out there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Any other videos you want to see in the future. I am thinking about doing Battlefield 2042 content. Please let me know if you guys are interested in that in the comments down below. But anyways, I love y'all boys. Jesus loves you. Have a blessed day.